Oh, shit. We have a zero, zero in progress in the most of each. Subject is 25 and appears to have shit as big. Get back here. Hello, are we rolling? Yes. Okay, everybody. What do we have here? Oh, Westport, Missouri. Also known St. Louis area, you know? Uh, oh, God. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> or should I just do it? We yeah. butcher every intro. Yeah. I lost faith in the sentence. I talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, October 20th, Everett, Washington, about 50 minutes outside of Seattle. So if you're Seattle area, that's a big theater. Come on down. Davenport, Iowa, at Rhythm City Casino, November 4th, November 16th, 17th, 18th, Rochester, New York. November 19th, Austin, doing the taping with the homies Mateen Stewart and Brittany Schmidt. That's dope. December 7th, Denver, Colorado. They still, ha still haven't sent me the ticket link. December 13th, Philadelphia. December 14th, Washington, D.C. New Year's, December 29th through the 1st, Springfield, Missouri. Tickets on my website, most of them. Got 2024 dates coming up, but we'll promote those later. Now let's get to my damn guest. This motherfucker is funny as shit. He also is freshly sober, and that makes me so happy because he was going to die. <laughs> That's dark. But you know, the, you know, I know my people. I was just like them. I ain't poking fun. Game recognized game. But he's sober now. That's so dope. And, you know, we talk about it, and, and, and it, it go, we're also funny and talk about poop a lot. Come on. So if you want some <laughs> poopies, we get real. And, you know, not everybody's a crackhead. But if you are, you know, find God and get out. Because it's no good. It's no good. Go garden. Put down the pookie. Pick up a rake. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you. And uh, check out my podcast and my homie, Dustin Ibarra. Wait a minute. Are we rolling? <laughs> yeah. Can we roll? Oh, my God. Wait a minute. What do you wash with vinegar? I use vinegar, too. It's good fabric softener. Vinegar, yeah, it's I really. Walked in, a I heard vinegar. Oh, coffee machines, you got to clean them with vinegar. Yeah, dude, vinegar. People, be, be, you get rid of your chemicals. Get vinegar and baking soda. You're welcome. Yeah, this. Yeah, I saw that on Instagram. Here, dog. I seen it. Put a little salt. <laughs> yeah, everything. Yeah, you put some lemon in there. Yeah, non toxic. Your kid gets it on his booty. It's cleaner. You don't got to send him to the poison control hotline <laughs> from getting bleach on his. I, people pay to bleach their booty. That's weird. They do, man. That's fucking... What society are we in? Where there's like... First of all, why are you paying? Just get a shot glass and put it on your ass. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? Yeah, some vinegar in there. I'd probably have to go in for a couple of sessions. You know? Like, we're going to... get. You got to come in four sir, times. Sir, you're going to need to see the gardener first. You got to weed whack your asshole. It's a dirty then booty. you're going to come back after... After the hedge trimmer is done and the crack of your ass, Dude, yeah. we will put some vinegar's not going to cut. You need bleach. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, I'll that, get away with vinegar. Yeah, you got to get some <laughs> you're, chemicals. You're, in you're, it. Oh, I'm a bleach, man. They're, they're going to have to they're going to have to put on those radiation uh, suits, you know. Yeah, hazmat suit. Yeah, hazmat like let's the gloves. Get in there. They're like they cooking meth on Breaking Bad. No. Oh, Dusty's man. ass. I feel sorry for anyone that's got to deal with my asshole. Man. It's okay, man. You clean now. You're good. God yeah. is good. God is good, man. Right? <laughs> my asshole used to be like a couch cushion. You didn't know what you were gonna find, a, but a, now a Cheeto or a nickel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we found an old lottery ticket. <laughs> you got six bucks. Oh. oh In Arizona, though, you're not a resident. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> Lupo. I mean. What's that called? Plot twist. I said plot loophole, twist. whatever, <laughs> bro. Loophole plot ah, twist. Same. Same shit. Yeah, God. Dude, yeah. I fucking love you, bro. You're so love funny. You, dude. This is awesome. It's funny, I'm, man. I'm glad to be. It's weird, man. I feel like I'm visiting the set of like friends or something, you know, <laughs> and you see like, oh, this is what it's like. I always wondered if this was wallpaper. <laughs> it's made, but it's real. It's plastic. It is. It's real plastic. Made in China. Ooh. Uh, it was cheap. Internet. A fan made this. I got a sign. I, I posted them before Jake, I believe. It's been a while, bro. I'm sorry. It, uh, you know. Looks good. It's, it's hard. Good setup, it's hard. Bro. It's good. Hey, great guy. Yeah. Great guy. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah. Yeah, dude. It's fun. Just, just farting around. Farting around, bro. 
Just learning, just growing, still fucking up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's better now. It's, it's much better now. Little fuck up. But um, hang on. I'll help me, help me carry my podcast, Greg. What, I had topics. Just free flow. We were riffing, bro. Well, we were I love riffing how, out the gate. I love how close. This is the shortest I've had to drive for a podcast. That's awesome. He's a Redondo boy, too. Redondo nice. boy, man. Yeah. Dude, they're so far. They're oh all my so god! It's all, dude, it's like, hey, you want to do my podcast? Yeah, where is it? Ecuador? Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> what? Like, yeah. You serious, man? I, got- I stop in Mexico as far as I go. Yeah, I can't be going. <laughs> Catalina Island? What? Oh man! It takes two hours for us to get to podcast. It does. One time they had it at like six, and I was like, oh, and it and and we all got there late because of traffic. I'm like, who's who's doing this? Yeah. Like, well, you guys don't live close either. Why did we do this? Nah. We did, all showed up late. Bro, I did one last week that was like, it was at like 6 p.m. next to the Rainbow Room. And oh. it was like, oh my God. This is my whole day, man. Yeah. Yeah. This is it, bro. Yeah. And we go on, we talk about some bullshit, and it's like a three hour ride drive back, yeah. man. Yeah. No, you got to do it at like 11 a.m. or noon. That's why I do noon. Mm, noon is a good is time. Is you get in, get out. Yeah. Right in the, the, <laughs> I am struggling today. Have the some mis- coffee. Bro. I am. I am. Second. Cup. I got some coffee. I got some Starbucks. I got. Man. You need more? I got Nescafe, bro. Nescafe. What's that? Ooh. Nespresso. Nespresso. That's the George Clooney one. Yeah, that's good. And Penelope Cruz. Oh yeah. She was in that commercial. I saw that. It worked. <laughs> Nespresso <laughs> only at Bloomingdale's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got this shit free. I'm doing my rich shit. I'm gonna be rich. Bro. I like that. That's I a good rich. one. This is Aviator Nation. This was a hundred and eighty nine dollars, and I paid zero. Man. Called robbery. Good luck, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, have you ever done the Aviator Nation show? I'm, I'm supposed to do it. You get paid in hey, product, bro, bro. That's the main reason I'm doing it, man. They're like, you get free shirts. I'm like, what, <laughs> dude? <laughs> I was talking shit at first. I was like, give me money. And then oh, no, 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 man, no, no, dude, this is the best shit. I love that. Oh, I love the oh, old like when oh. people get into bartering things, you oh. know, especially for comedy. It's like yeah, great. Do this a place that has food. I'm like, all right. I, what kind I got of food paid are we in talking? a cheeseburger the other day. <laughs> oh, that's always nice. <laughs> it right? wasn't and money, but it's still yeah. nice. Yeah, like, a little food one on out. top of it. It's always like yeah. <laughs> it's twenty bucks and a cheeseburger. Whoa, I'm rich. But um, you could stack the gift cards, too. I didn't know that. I've just been splurging. Fury, Steam Fury, homie, he's very funny. I yeah. probably know him. He stacked, like, three gift cards and got, like, a $600 jacket, dude. What? Yeah, because these motherfuckers are expensive. These rich people don't fuck around. I need assets. Oh, I, love I need <laughs> cash flow. I've been watching Robert Kiyosaki. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's oh, free on YouTube. Rich Dad, Poor yeah, Dad? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. I went to one of his seminars. No way. And then they, they they tried to get you to pay, and I was like, I got no money, rubber. <laughs> That's why I'm here. That's yeah. why I'm here. So I took the freebie, and I said, see you later. Oh, yeah. I said, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I'll see you later, Robert. The free trial, you, man. Your pussy stank. I got to go. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry. That wasn't very godly. <laughs> <laughs> I love a free trial, man. How are you? I saw you. I never made me so happy. I believe it was nope, right? Us. 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 Yeah. In theaters. Yeah. I just was in theaters watching us. Jordan Peele directed. And I was like, that looks like Dustin. I was like, that is. Oh, man. That's always crazy, right? Because I didn't know that was such a, uh, a part that I'm like, man, I could totally get cut out of this. And I'm like... <laughs> What the the whole thing was, um, the audition process is you get a script that's not even like the the movie, you know, it's just some random lines from something. And then the day of they give you like the lines you're gonna do and you're like, Oh, this is crazy, man. I didn't even know what the movie was about. That's that's so dope to be you're in another banger. I feel like you're in two hits where you I just you know when you're just watching a movie and you're like Hey, that's my friend. You know, <laughs> yeah. I feel like it happened to you two times. I've been in a few things. A what was the other? Things. I know you have. I know you've done mad work, but it like you know what I mean. Like yeah, a cult like a classic. big, oh, big one. Like oh, that dude, fucking. Uh, we bought a zoo. 
That's that, what it was. That was the other one. <laughs> That's what that it was, was. Like the big one. Yeah. That's so dope. That bro. was a blast, man. Damn. I worked on six for six weeks on that, man. Damn. Because I was like, I was a zookeeper, so you're there a lot, you know. And you're just like, <laughs> some days you would come in. And it's like, what do I do? And they're like, just hang out. And then you just hang out all yeah. day. And it's like, this Eating is the craft best. Service. I didn't even have to. <laughs> Getting oh. paid bank. Bro, they had good craft service, too. Sometimes, like, on shittier projects, you'll get, like, be, like, some Granola. Skittles. Yeah, some yeah. trail mix. Chewy bar. Bro, they had, like, okay. steaks, man. And, like, yeah. There was, like, yeah, the whole catering thing. I haven't awesome. even done that many shits. But when I did, like, a good one, they, they said steak, chicken, or shrimp. And I said, all three, please. And they said, no problem. I went, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, they dude, had, do you yeah. know how they cook for you? Yes, oh, dude. There was this God. other actor, too, Angus McFadgen. He's been in stuff. He was like, he's a Scottish guy. He was like, you know, you got to get uh, get two plates. And I'm like, really? You can do that? He's like, yeah, what are they going to do? They don't give a <laughs> fuck. <laughs> actor, man. It's like, oh, okay, I'll take three, please. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they don't, it's unlimited. It's free it's, buffet. But, with no, but you're the you're the star. Yeah. So at the buffet, they look at you. You know, my uncle's been denied. They're like, hey, no. <laughs> oh, they've been denied? Uh, they yeah. brought Tupperware in. They kind of ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. We like, hey, put that away. Oh, uh, bro. I was in this buffet one time, this Chinese buffet in Texas, and you could get it to go. But the one caveat was you had to be able to close the box. Oh, shit. So be, you would fill it up and just be smashing your box. So you would just have this little, like, nothing is separated. It's just oh. this little chow mein with, like, one of those Chinese, like, sugar rolls on top. Yeah. Just all mixing together. But And if your box doesn't close, they're like, so you got to put some back. Oh, like, oh man. Like, I don't think that's sanitary. It's yeah. Texas. It's Texas. No, no. You got to <laughs> nah, put it back. Put two shrimps back. <laughs> yeah. They're going to Nana. We're giving her food poisoning later down the yeah. line. <laughs> Close the box. That's fair. That's fair. But it's like, don't put it back. I'm gross. I don't really give a shit. But most humans. Humans. Why does in the way? Dude. I need help, man. You too, huh? I'm <laughs> just kidding. It's so hard to talk sometimes. Do you struggle? It is hard to talk. Yeah, sometimes we don't have to talk. We can just sit here. No, chill. I just mean like, do you spit? Yeah. <laughs> just chill, man. Do yeah. you spit shit out incorrectly a lot? or is that... All the time, Okay. Bro. Yeah, sometimes I'll, like, I'll be listening to myself, too, and I'm like, wow, do you not know words, dude? Oh, like, what is I... going on with you, man? I knew we were cut from the same cloth. <laughs> I'll just start talking, and it is, it's so long, too, and it's like, this is... In my mind, I'm like, this sentence has got to end. Yeah, we got to You got to go. put a period on this, Dusty. <laughs> I have stopped talking mid-sentence because I forget or lose faith in the sentence. You know? <laughs> oh, a Where losing I'm, faith I'm, in it, yeah. <laughs> I've probably done it on here a dozen <laughs> of times. Yeah. On the record, you just see my brain go, mm-mm. No. <laughs> I'm done now. I go, where's my cats? Um yeah, and it's just it happens on stage. I'll be won't be so articulate, or I'll say words like that, like articulate. But that's only because I'm trying to pronounce it correctly. You know, I think, I think, I I think even, you put a D in there. Articulate. <laughs> it's articulate. Oh I'm God, to be articulate. I got up so early. A pack of merch. Your pack of merch. St. Louis. Oh, St. Louis man. was poor. They got Missouri. ribs up in St. Louis. Yeah, they do. Yeah, man. I'm a big fan. I, they're going to hate me for this. Still coming to my show. But Texas has the best barbecue. Oh, it's got the best. The Hands best. Down. Oh, Te you're from Texas. Yeah, bro. I'm from yeah. Texas. They got the best barbecue. Uh, the best dude, Mexican food out there is like Tex-Mex, man. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm you're, East you're, Los kind of see, guy. I, oh, man, dude. See, I like the Tex-Mex. I got to have bro. cheese and some... Okay, queso I'll give dip, you queso, dude. but it's queso is amazing, bro. Queso is amazing. I'll dude. give you that, but the rest is like real mix. That sounds fucked up, but you know it's Tex Mex. Yeah, they call it, it Tex Mex is, yeah. for a reason because it's just different, but it's good. And I, and I appreciate that you grew up on it. And it's probably nostalgic. It is nostalgic. I was thinking about like you. You ever have that nostalgic food? Like, what, but you're from here, right? Top ramen, bro. That's my nostalgia. Oh, really? I said nostalgia. <laughs> Yeah, you, it brings back memories when you oh. eat it. Like, ah, oh, yeah, dude. Which What's your go-to? Nostalgia. Uh, bro, queso, man. Queso? I love queso, dude. Like, liquid. I love cheese in its liquid form. 
like solid cheese is like all right but you put some heat in there yeah, fondue <laughs> give me a fondue party see fondue i don't even i i don't even think i've had fondue but i would probably like it i'm going to a Liquid fondue cheese. party later today actually no I, you're not i'm not even kidding jason ellis's birthday party and they said they're gonna have fondue there Ooh. That's funny. We're talking about this <laughs> synchronicities. <laughs> I see. I see. There is no coincidence. Ooh, fondue party. Bring, bring some Tupperware. Bring come me on. Some come with me. We'll crash the party. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's nuts. He'll love you. All the oh, nutters. I know, I know Jason. I know yeah. Jason a while. He's awesome. Yeah. You ever notice all the nutters love each other? Like the the the, the, the nuts recognize the nuts. Oh yeah. You're like, I see it Definitely. in your eyes. This guy's yeah. a little crazy. This guy's a little off. You know. Where he says, "I got a flamethrower," and I'm, we'll be like, "Let me do it." You know. And others are like, nah. "Oh, dude. scary." I remember one of the first times I met you. Like, I bought fireworks off of you, man. Oh shit. I wasn't even planning. I wasn't planning on buying fireworks works that day but we were doing this show and you were like yeah man i got some fireworks for sale and i'm like oh yeah i'll take some yeah i like don't even some, remember that bro, what yeah. show uh it was the one on in on top of a uh, the building. roof the roof show <laughs> oh yeah. yeah i was slinging them that's when yeah. chris red pulled up dude and i was yeah. like i gotta get a better life i'm slinging fireworks oh that dude. was the best man <laughs> i think yeah he took me to your trunk and it was like oh it it's so weird. Out of all the things that a guy like me would buy from a guy like you. I remember now. I remember. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I bought some, like, Roman candles, I yeah. think. It's a good time, rockets. dude. That was cool, man. <laughs> well, you you got to hustle, yeah. man. You guys think this is the game? How do you think I bought this cross right here? Boom. It's bottle rockets gold. right there. Costco, 229 Got a deal. Ooh. It's gold. I don't know. You got Costco? I love it. I'm an executive member, and I live alone. <laughs> I can't help it. I got Sam's Club. That's non-union. You gotta go cop. <laughs> I know, dude. Come on, man. Sam's Club is like it's cheaper. It's you know? ghetto. Bro. It is ghetto. You're not. You, you look around and you're like, oh, I'm definitely. In a you do Sam's it for Club. the union, for the worker, and Costco's better. I mean, I know I'm biased. No, no I Costco grew up with is both. better. I grew up with both. Costco's better, and the the fucking employee gets a fair shake. Come on now. Fuck you, Walmart. I see you, you little billionaire bitch motherfucker. How many bunkers you need? <laughs> huh? Huh? They all got bunkers, these rich cocksuckers. I ain't got no bunker. I just got three pistols. <laughs> That's your bunker. That's your plan. Got That's one. your World War Three plan. Yeah, mainly garden and be peaceful. I don't want to ever use guns, but I like them a lot. I think I think I'm gonna get an inflatable raft and just hit the ocean. Man. I got a kayak in the garage. Oh, you do you really? It, a two person kayak or one you, person? Just you. I'll stay on land with guns. Okay, <laughs> I'll come by. Like, yeah, the uh, World War Three is happening now. Yo, Craig, can I, can I borrow your kayak, man? I want to hit the ocean. You just sharks are going you. <laughs> that's tough. why I chose the land. Ooh. I'm not, I'm, you know, that's their turf. Those guys are crazy. Sharks? Have you seen them? Sharks are pretty A lot nuts. of teeth. No, thank you. Yeah. I get scared just like above the nipple. I'm like, what's under there? Oh, I get ballsy in the ocean, man. You go out there? I go out there, oh. man. Oh. And I didn't used to do that, but I don't know. Something changed in my life where I'm like, I'm not, you know. You're sober. I, yeah. yeah. That's I'm, not, I'm not scared of sharks anymore, <laughs> yeah. man. Because you're welcome. Well, come on, sober. shark. Oh. Yeah, oh. I haven't had a drink in a year. Come on. Yeah, let's Try me, do bitch. this. <laughs> ah. oh. You're not the only one with teeth. Yeah. Great, great. white. <laughs> Fucking do, 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 do. This yeah. is a shark song, I remember. I I great the ocean, man. white shark do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, this is good podcasting. These this is though. I was making fun of myself, but these other fools they ain't the. Fu them, there's a lot of funny ones actually, but you know. Yeah. There's a lot of dead time. There's some whack ones out there. A lot of dead there air. Some whack. Ones. Not here. No. Guns. God. Gun. Baby shark do 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 do. <laughs> it's shark, fucking cracking. <laughs> Yeah, man. We partying with queso, bro. I can deal with a baby shark, an adult shark. I don't know. Yeah, they're pretty big. Huh? They get big, dude. Yeah. They're actually like quite scared and can't see. They could just smell well. So if you just pop their nose, it's like it's kind of like when a tiny cat pops a dog in its nose. It's oh, unexpected, yeah. and the dog's like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Even though the dog can obviously probably mop up the little cat. 
I see Mr. Punk some big dogs like that. I'm like, bro, <laughs> stop. He's like, Pat, and they go, Yeah, dude, they just freak It's just out. unexpected. But so, yeah, I'd yeah. rather just stay on land. I'm scared. Yeah. I got so scared of all that shit. Actually, I always was. It's just in when you're your youth, it's more like a giggle. Now I'm like, there's shit really in here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was no, like, I can't see it. Not the not being able to see it. That's, that's kinda, what freaks that's a me trip. out. Yeah. There's just stuff swimming around. Yeah. But, you know, they mainly leave us alone. It's usually us that cause it by overfishing yeah. and, you know, oh, and, and, looking, come, and looking like a fish. Looking like a seal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I look like a seal, too, man. <laughs> I get it. Because great white sharks, sometimes I'll eat something and be like, oh, I thought that was a potato. That's not. I thought that it was, was a, a seal. Fish fry. <laughs> yeah. Was, oh, I thought that was a what nugget. Was <laughs> yeah. You accidentally <laughs> eat some. It was a freaking. Yeah. Call, mashed cauliflower. You think yeah. it's real mashed potatoes and you eat it. Oh. That's the worst. I thought I was eating a kiwi. And it was a cucumber, you know? And I went like that. How does that I happen? Was, I was on ayahuasca. And it <laughs> looked green to me. And I went, ooh, kiwi, my favorite. And uh-huh. I went like this. I was like, it's a cucumber. Oh, I hate that one. Yeah, different. You know what's the worst? Whenever you get like, you order a Coke and they give you a Diet Coke and you taste it. Oh, so I was like, what, man? You got catfish, bro. Oh, bro. You got Coke fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. It's like, come on. I didn't order this. Hey, Get this diet healthy shit the, out of here. I don't want no aspartame. Nah, I need give some me that sugar. GMO bro. sugar. Yeah, give, give me, me some of that corn syrup. Give me bro. that glyphosate corn syrup. Thank you, Roundup. Yeah. I appreciate these tumors in my neck. Yeah. McDonald's is getting rid of the fountain, the soda fountain. Did you see that? Oh, that. Why don't you get rid of the plastic? I just saw a video of a guy pouring, pour, oh, I got stuck again. What? Pouring melted um, sh- m- liquid hot magma. No, but me- <laughs> <laughs> liquid hot magma. <laughs> magma <laughs> looks tasty too, bro. It's delicious. It, man? It looks like Ma- a Slurpee. Oh, my. That looks like queso, <laughs> yeah. bro. I'll, I'll it. dip a chip Woo. in that shit, bro. Burns coming out the back end. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Stand on top. They put a McDonald's burger on. The, yeah. It was a metal worker, and he melted uh-huh. copper. He melted metal. He and he poured it on top of the burger, and it didn't like slice it. It like it had a chemical reaction. Watch it's on the TikTok. Also, it doesn't uh, biodegrade. They show that like 15, 25 year old burger and looks the same. Oh, you know what I did? Yeah, bro, I did that one time. I, I bought a, uh, I bought a breakfast sandwich from McDonald's. And I put it on the door on top of my in my apartment, you know, just as a joke. <laughs> and then like no one no one moved it. And like a year later I came back and I opened it. It looked the same, dude. Yeah. I ate it. I <laughs> did. No, I, I did. <laughs> it's like, dog, you need some dog to worm her. Right. Yeah. I finally did it. I'm on day three. Today's day four. Of what? Dog to wormer. <laughs> dog you are on dog to wormer? I swear to God, I'll, I'll send you the video. We'll insert here. We got some shit right here. Like this shit right here. People think I'm nuts, but some of y'all know. I mean, what what is going on? I need scissors for this? I mean, it is dewormer. One moment, please. Oh, yeah. Right there. And it doesn't taste like anything. I had some last night. Test it out before I filmed it, you know. And then this makes it taste good. Magnesium. Put some of that in there. Then we do some shilaj yet. Some minerals. It's a cold cut combo. Ooh, that's a lot. It's too much. Oh, wow. All right. All right. It's bad lighting. It's bad lighting. Snuggle. Is this the good lighting? Oh, there we go. I look like a demon. They had the black eyes. I got blue eyes. Hazel. All right, I feel I'm drinking enough. I'm going to finish this. Don't you worry. Oh, man. You got, you got going to have worms crawling out of your orifices? I've been pissing them out. They're microscopic. No. Oh, really? I seen a bunch. <laughs> I picture like just a big worm coming out That's of your That's like dick, a tapeworm. You know? Yeah. Ugh. Like it's just a, coming out. <laughs> Some fishing like bait. They, like they, they play the, the flute in the cold, right? 
<laughs> I am mean, a flute guy now. I'm playing a flute to my dick to get rid of worms. <laughs> my dad's buddy uh, had a... Uh, I don't even know what you could say because it might get flagged pharma. It's so weird. Anyways, he had answer, and they said you're gonna die. And I've talked about it so much, but I finally did it, so now it's relevant. Um, yeah, he started taking dog to wormer because he's a lunatic. He's a lunatic. Like he didn't. He wasn't told this by anyone. Oh, he just started, he just started taking, taking it. it. He got rid of all of his shit. He's still alive. What? Yeah, he drank, and then he told my dad. So my dad bought some dog to wormer. And I was like, and then my phone's listening to me, but it's the first time I've ever enjoyed it because now all these savages <laughs> are drinking dog to warmer. There's this one guy that had no teeth and he looked like he drank at the Legion with my pa. And he, <laughs> that sounded so, so um, storm's coming, pa. And uh, <laughs> he drinks with my pa down at the log. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and it just keeps coming up. Yeah. And it's the same ingredient. My sister kind of yelled at me. She's like, you know, you can take human to warmer. I was like, yeah, but you got to go to the doctor and get a prescription. Ah, oh, yeah. I hate prescriptions, You just go bro. to Petco, bro. There's no taste. I thought it was going to taste like pork or mint bone. <laughs> yeah. It tastes good to me. <laughs> tastes good to me. I put, I had it straight up just to try it. And then I put uh, some pink lemonade with it. And that, it was a hot and toddy. It was delicious. Ooh. And now I got no worms. What's up, ladies? <laughs> I'm dewormed. <laughs> Probably got a lot of worms, man. Yeah, no, for sure. Wait, let me get some of that before I leave. I'll I got uh, two packets. I'll give you. I swear to God. <laughs> you better drink them, though. This shit's expensive. Is it really expensive? It's like 12 bucks a pack. <laughs> oh, my God. You may have said that shit's expensive. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'll take it if you want. Going to a fondue party later. <laughs> complaining about expenses on dog to warmer. Getting free aviator clothes. Ooh, <laughs> this shit is extra. That's rich, like twenty dog dewormers right rich there. Rich people, they just—I can't wait. I've been poor my whole life. I love hanging out with rich people, man. Dude, they but can't... you can't be acting poor with rich people. That's a thing. No, because it's like your immediate reaction. You want to be like, what? Yeah. Oh, these they're are like, act s- like you've been here poor, but I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> But I haven't. These towels are so soft, man. What? <laughs> Everything's soft. Why does it smell good in here? You guys are eating sushi off a naked woman. What? <laughs> what? They do that weird shit like that. They Just do. go to a strip club. Yeah. Go to dinner and then go to a strip club. No need to put these together. <laughs> I don't want a boner when I'm looking for soy sauce. Yeah. It's not the moment. I'll get a boner later in the night, in the late night. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a cat. Okay, I'm just... <laughs> that is a weird one, Sushi. Have you seen that picture of Eddie Murphy in the steak off the naked woman? That's fucking weird, dude. That is kind of crazy, that's, right? Did she that's have like a you got cutting board much... under her? <laughs> no, Poor bare girl. ass, man. Yeah, that's kind of dangerous. That is so dangerous me. and a little unsanitary. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. You know, that's how I'll you have get some worms. beef tartare, but not some caca tartare. Caca tartare. <laughs> Poop tatar. Poop tatar. Oh, I butchered that riff. I was trying to be like, which, which, fecal tatar. Fecal tatar. Beef caca. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the, he's not even a comedian. He came Beef up caca. with the best one. Beef caca. Beef caca. <laughs> Taco Bell beef caca. The new Taco <laughs> Moss <taco>. beef caca. <laughs> I had Taco Bell last night. You know Dude, how they so got me, good. bro. It's so good. I had these. Uh, What's I, your order? I had a deal that was gonna expire like the day. We up. are the same. You save Taco Bell coupons. Oh well, it's I don't like save them. Like keep them in a little yeah, envelope. They, they, I got you save the, them. I got the app, and the app will warn me like, oh. hey, just a heads up. You're gonna lose out on this free taco. And then I'm like, shit, I gotta get Taco Bell. I didn't want Taco Bell, but I was like. I it's had to delete my Domino app because they send you alerts. And then you just be eating pizza on nights you weren't craving pizza. You're like, I don't need this synthetic cheese in my life that often. Yeah. Once a month is good enough. Uh, Why do you think I'm drinking the warmer? Get out of me. <laughs> Some, sometimes, Domino. Sometimes the deal's too good, though, where it's like you got to take it. Domino's will be that. Like, they had... They have five dollar pizza last month. I was like, I don't, I don't like Domino's that much, but it's a five dollar pizza. It's five bucks. I got like three pizzas, man. I'm trying not to be like that. It's really hard. It oh hard. wait, I forgot to say one thing. Like how rich people brag, they're like, 
this was $189 where I'm like, I got this for free. Like it's reverse. <laughs> yeah. We brag, I'm speaking for you, but I, I, I brag about uh, like the deal. I got this at Costco, $14.99, where they brag about the price. Yeah, they Gucci, like to. 2G. I'm like, idiot. It's five bucks at Santee Alley in downtown <laughs> LA. You might get it confiscated at the airport if it's a bootleg. Do you see those? <laughs> you see that video? No, nah, they get 50 Cent posted that. All these women with bootleg Gucci were getting flagged at the what? airport. What? You can't fraud. have fake stuff? Yeah, because oh, like, man. yeah. You know, Louis Vuitton and Gucci paid the TSA kickback, be like, hey, these bootlegs are killing us. Oh. Make a fool of them, and then they did. It's all a scam. It's all rigged. It's all written. I saw some though that they let them bootleg because it gets the brand more out there or something. Mm. I think it might have been in that. They let them, and then they embarrass them, and they they shame them. You better now. They have two. They got a bootleg and a real one. Yeah, because of the shame they held at the LAX airport. Yeah. <laughs> World star. Rich people also like rich young people will be like, "Do you know who my father is?" But then, like, poor young people will say that, too, but it's more of, like, a serious question. Like, hey, do you know who my father is? <laughs> Maybe do you know where he is? Yeah, is there you a possibility? Have you seen his picture? I've never met him. <laughs> that was a bit. That's that was, a good that bit. So bad. That's a good bit. Like, Ooh, I'm going to toss this in. Yeah, Maybe toss it. It's topical. It's weird when bits and stories are topical and you sneak them in. Mm -hmm. But you did it right. I do that, too, and I go, that was a bit. <laughs> oh, I, I said it was a bit I, no, I didn't want to look like a dick yeah. like, oh, you got it. it I got my set list over here like ha ah, yeah you, you got it McDonald's. I just let do you layups like Byron Allen you just, <laughs> like the guy just does his act in the talk show but it's hilarious oh that is the funniest yeah, yeah. man it was so Craig yeah. Craig <laughs> uh, we, I heard that your dad uh, well, your dad's a crazy guy isn't he well, yeah my dad <laughs> hey that's where the setup, Byron is the best Best setup, man. Yeah. Dude, that guy is in syndication. He's worth like three, five hundred million dollars. Owns the Weather Channel. Good <laughs> on yeah. you. Owns Invest. the Weather. That's an investor. <laughs> I'm watching your game. I'm He's gonna do the same thing. Yeah. I'm gonna own mobile. I'm gonna own mobile home parks in Arkansas. I'm gonna be the kingpin of the Ozarks. <laughs> <laughs> I seen the TV show, but my hustle will be legit. No payment. You're out, Nana. Ooh. I'm just kidding. You got three months. I you could heart. tow them out too. You could. Yeah, tow yeah, yeah. Them. Here's a truck. Get it moving. Yeah, you could sell their possessions. Like then you do like one of those auction shows. You know, like it's like yeah, you can you can get whatever's in this mobile home. You yeah. can't see it. You want a lot of precious gonna... moments, dolls? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what else is the old Nana's have? <laughs> Nana's Nana's got all kinds. Of... Some every drawer smells like roses. You know, but like. Uh, uh, and it, and it, a wafting amount. You're like, whoa, yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, it's shit. like a rose garden took a shit or something. Like, <laughs> like wow, man. Caca tatar. What was it called again? Beef caca. Beef caca. Beef caca. And beef caca. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God. Okay. I took a lot of notes. I had some stuff. <laughs> I got some. We haven't even touched them yet. I like how you dress, bro. You do dress good. You gotta dress good. Yeah. We're in the we're in the business of professional comedians. Oh man, so, see, you say sometimes I'll go up on stage and like right before I'll go up, I'll just look at myself and be like, "Damn, dude, <laughs> you, got, you look like you work here, but if you can't. You, like, you don't even look like you could work here." But it, go, it, it goes with you your character up. and your act and who you are as a human. That's what I love. I always can fall back on that. It's hey. my style. Yeah. <laughs> What's with your hair? Oh, it's that's true. my character, bro. If I'm it matches, <laughs> yeah. It ma if you look homeless and you're not supposed to, <laughs> that sounded rude, didn't it? I'm no, the, I look homeless. I'm the same. No. This is a decent. Like, this is a free shirt as well. <laughs> I'm homeless. Laugh at me. <laughs> I'm homeless. <laughs> he doesn't look homeless. You know, I was just extreme example. Oh boy, he's getting hot. God, me homeless would be another level. It's like whenever you evolve a Pokemon. <laughs> be crazy looking man i've been uh they, people thought i was homeless once or twice yeah you know or they street kid they try to pick me up you know i'm like get away from me it's like i'm not a hooker 
<laughs> Good on. It's I'm on. Been, I've got the warmer in my I back got pocket. Warm. The only warm in my ass is on my accord. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's from the parasites. You should let one food system. You should let one worm stay in you. You know, like rent free. The earthworm. Yeah. I'll swallow an earthworm when I'm done to worming. Cause you grew up poor, man. Yeah, Imagine, yeah, yeah. yeah man. My, I got evicted growing up. Eviction. You know, I wouldn't. You're basically evicting all your parasites, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's not cool. No, it's fine. They got <laughs> to go. They've been wreaking havoc right. in my underloins. Ooh. Um, notes. You busting out some notes? Why not? I I, I wrote so many. Notes, my man. notes are mainly for, but some of them are funny. If I could find my own fucking notes, I like notes. Oh, that's not. Funny. <laughs> I'll write notes down sometimes. You write notes? <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'll write a note. This... I won't even know what it's about. I'll just say cheeseburger. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. me too. Just keywords I have no idea. Or I'll yeah. write a sentence and be like, I don't know. Or I'll voice the text and it doesn't even make sense because it picked no. up none of my words because I sound like a cookie monster. <laughs> this is it. This, well, this, actually, I say I have good notes. This was a good note to me, and now as I'm reading it, I'm like, these are bad notes. As I, that's what happens every time. This is my topical shit. I found out there's... Uh, I've been looking at living off-grid because I like shit like that and just getting land and, oh, and yeah. growing food and homesteading and shit. I love that, man. I love yes, it. Yes, dude. So there's these toilets, off-grid toilets, and some of them you just dig a hole and you shit in a big, deep-ass hole and it's so deep it doesn't even stink. But there's an incinerator toilet. Did you know that? No, it just lights your shit on you fire? Can, yeah, it just burns. But you can have it indoors too. These fools had an incinerator. What? Yeah, and now I want a a shit fire toilet. I named that. <laughs> oh man! Um, but so it incinerates it. It's kind of like yeah. This is so funny. This is my topic: a toilet that incinerates shit. Like I'm in my head right now. This is the note you thought worth. It. Hey, it's it's on brand. Nah, I like <laughs> it. Yeah. Did you know that existed? No, but that's now what I I'm can, saying. I bet you could flamethrower toilet. What the hell? Yeah, that's awesome, man. That is awesome. Zero waste. I no wonder. Sewage. Could you like make your own somehow? Like, is, is it like? Five? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the designer one on that one. You could just put a micro. You can shit in a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, it takes nutrition out the food. Maybe it'll make it disappear like that one movie with Jack Black. Vaporize. Oh yeah, Envy. yeah. And Ed Norton? No, that was Death Smoochie. Jack Black and Ben Stiller, Christopher yeah. Walken. That's a weird movie. I saw it in theaters. I never mm. saw that movie. I also saw Death to Smoochies in theaters. That was a weird movie too. You remember the first movie that you saw in a theater? The very first one. It might have been Juice with Tupac. <laughs> How old were you? I was little. Um, maybe Ninja Turtles. I think I that might have been my the one that I remember like really well. Kind of is Jurassic Park. I cried and my brother was mad at me because he had to take me outside. Cause you cried. I cried. How yeah. old were you? I uh, thirty seven. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I cried because <laughs> it was that T Rex scene. It's really the, scary. Yeah, that's a yeah. I was a little kid. I think I was like maybe nine or eight or something. I watched Robin Hood with Kevin Costner in theaters oh, in yeah. Mexico City with my cousins when Ooh. I was down there. I remember that was definitely an early on movie. That's like eighty nine. Yeah, I was like five. You can see Kevin Costner's ass in that. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, remember he shouted. Yeah. What a nice weird ass. scene. He's nice ass. Under- been a fan of Kevin Costner ever since. <laughs> yeah, right? Yellowstone. More like yellow bone. Yeah. Show me yeah. that wow. ass, Costner. White man. Yeah. What? He just said, white man. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a white ass, too. Robin Hood, man. That's a good Morgan Freeman. That was a great. I like when they launch, they get in the catapult and they're like, You ready? You ready? And then yeah. they launch themselves into the castle. Yeah, I remember that. Big John, little John. There was a man from Nottingham who tried to cross the river, tripped over a rope. Oh, look at him shiver. I remember that and they, they fight with the sticks. 
Ah, uh, yeah. I remember the fight with the That's sticks. crazy. I've seen that movie like two times, and I remember <laughs> Yeah, I remember it. I remember when he gets on the land of England, and he starts kissing the sand. And I remember when oh, you were yeah. a little kid, you do stupid. Yeah. I remember I would kiss the dirt, and I'm like, ah, what am I doing? <laughs> I remember watching like Rocky and getting jacked up on adrenaline or whatever, and <laughs> just go to the garage and start pretending to box. I'd watch Rambo <laughs> a lot and want to go to, you know, Vietnam War. Oh, yeah. Rambo 2 was my first one. I didn't do it in order. Had it on VHS, recorded off the TV. Ooh. Yeah. You just rewatch it and watch over it. Over and over. Fast yeah. forward the commercials. And there's like a Welch's, some some Green Giant Green Bean commercial. It's so yeah. funny watching the old commercials on old VHS. It's oh, all commercials so crazy. Are crazy, dude. Yeah. Remember Heinz? He's waiting for the ketchup. Oh, it was like uh, Joey from Friends, I think. That was his first big commercial. <laughs> I swear, yeah. I was raised by a television. Can you tell? I fucking know credits to commercials from the 80s. What oh, is wow. I am autistic. It happened. Those VHS days where you had to record the... You, you record it. You yeah. knew it was going to come on, so you recorded yeah. it. Yeah. I remember my brother. Oh, my God. This dude... <laughs> there, was this, there was this Garth Brooks concert. That was like it. It was a once in a lifetime event, <laughs> and he recorded it. And he, he was like, "Don't mess with the TV. I need the TV from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m." <laughs> and then it was like, "Okay, chill out, man." Yeah, and yeah, he yeah. recorded it. <laughs> and then, like, I think he was watching a NASCAR race, and he recorded over it. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's like you recorded over something redneck with something even more <laughs> redneck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was he upset? Did he do it on purpose? Oh yeah, I remember, dude. I remember that Garth Brooks concert too because it was so crazy. He, um, Garth Brooks, he, he, <laughs> he, they put him on a wire and he started like flying. Oh during my it. god! And I remember as a kid just watching like this guy is crazy, man. <laughs> He's just, Garth Brooks, I don't think you need a wire, bro. A flying Garth, man. <laughs> that guy is nuts. I know Segura goes at him a lot. Dude, I, I'm a Garth Brooks fan, dude. I love that. I, I, dude, his songs. That's a concert I would know every song to. I bet. I was I'm, raised on country. I wasn't, but I do appreciate a lot of it now. I gotta get into Garth. I know he has hits. Yeah, he Garth outsold, has got hits. He's man. outsold a lot of artists. He's up there. Yeah, he's one of the big dogs. Yeah, I saw George Strait in concert. That was awesome. That's a good one. Yeah. Who's that other one? George Thorogood. And the Destroyers? I don't know. George Strait. Is it Dire Straits? George Strait? No, there is Dire yeah, Straits. <laughs> it's still George mad. Strait, though, man. That, that was a good one. I saw him in Vegas, man. Bruce Gray got me into Sturgill mm. Simpson. Um, the Hang on. It'll come to me. Paul Cotham. Paul Cotham, you know, that one. Yeah. That fool sounds like Elvis. That guy's the oh, shit. Really? Yeah, I'll send you shit. Who is it? Uh, George Thorogood's the guy who did Bad to the Bone. Is yeah. that what you're thinking of? <clears throat> George Strait's a different guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, there. Okay. Bruce Gray does like country. This is yeah. so weird, man. He loves country. I, I know this because I just got, I was working the cellar in Vegas and I worked with his girlfriend, Kelly Ryan. Yeah, she's so funny. They're she, the funniest couple ever. Good, they sh- are good funny. job, y'all. Yeah, yeah, they're a funny couple, but she was telling me how. Uh, They'll go up to Bakersfield because I believe that's where he's from. Yeah, yeah. They'll go to Buck Owens Crystal Palace and stuff. Yeah, he's funny. It's funny yeah. to be country from California and how actually abundant that is. Up north, it's country. Oh, bro, yeah, man. I didn't know Bakersfield's that. Bakersfield's country is hell, man. Once you get out of the city, it gets Anywhere pretty... out of L.A. Yeah. and San Diego is country. It's or Mexico. Country. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went to pretty much way. Yeah, I went to uh, some gigs up north early on, and I didn't know. And I we went to a bar, and they're playing country. I'm like, why aren't they playing Dr. Dre? Like, what are they doing? And they're like, yeah, dude, this is Vacaville. We don't play that yeah. shit here. I'm like, Dr. Why? Dre? Boy, what? what are you talking about, <laughs> Dr. Dre? I was like, okay. <laughs> okay, my man. That's all my notes. Just a poop incinerator. I don't want to read the rest. Now. Poop incinerator. <laughs> I'm done. I'm over it. Those are bad notes. I write them at the time. I'm like, this is going to be funny. And then I read them later. I'm like, what? I thought that was funny. It was funny. Yeah. It's definitely something to talk about. A pee incinerator. That you'd have to adjust it up. More moisture. It's just a spray <laughs> bottle. <laughs> it's gone with the wind.
pee instead of it. I seen a homeless lady pull down her pants and piss in the wind on La Brea and like like Venice or some shit. Mm. My sister, I've talked about it. You don't unsee that. <laughs> you see that? And you're like, okay. I saw that right here in Torrance, man. Torrance? This a bush p- not a sprayer? Not even a bush. A straight up leaned up against the gas station wall and just pissed. And I mean like a uh, I didn't know she was pissing until I saw this water coming my way. And I was like, oh, someone must be pressure washing over there. And then I look up and this lady's squatting and she's still going. And it smelled. It smelled like piss. Because sometimes you'll piss and it's like, I could drink this if I had to. Yeah, it's clean. But yeah, but this was, oh, you could not drink this piss. This piss, this will burn That you. was some PCP piss right PCP there. PCP piss, yeah. Ooh, you can smell mm. the crack in it. You yeah. Know, if you're pissing and not giving a fuck, there's some, there's crack or PCP in it. Yeah. Nobody's <laughs> just standing up pissing, you know, usually in between cars if they have some sense about them, you know. Yeah. Not just, just spraying, you know. It was, it's weird too, because like no one, there were people around, but no one was really like, it's a big deal type of thing. Yeah. But because that was, to me, I was like, whoa, this is kind of crazy. This lady's pissing. I, I want to be like, hey, this is Torrance. Yeah, it's Torrance. Take I, that shit to Hollywood. Yeah, <laughs> man. Get out of here. I mean, come on, guys. We moved here to get away from There's that. a Coles right there, yeah. man. You can't you do can't that. can't be pissing on a Coles. No, man. <laughs> the beach is nearby. Yeah. I always found it funny. Let's see, we get some riffs out of this. That uh-huh. Venice Beach has gangsters. Like, how are you going to be gang banging at the beach? Mm, yeah. You know, like that's 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 for the inner city. Doing drive Go- drive bys on one of those long boards, <laughs> 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 skateboard drive by. Yeah, no one wants to do that little move <laughs> when they drive they, by. They yeah. catch a wave. <laughs> crack, crack. And then, oh, they gotta stop shooting. I'm swimming now. <laughs> Who gang bangs at the beach? Go to the ocean. Yeah. Enjoy your life. Anywhere where there's sand, it's like hard to gang bang. Yeah. Yeah. Aloha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the, you, you just can't. You just can't. There's some things you just can't do. I mean, once I saw, if I saw a, a gang banger with rollerblades, I wouldn't be that afraid. No. You know, I'd be like, all right. All right. Is rolling up, you know, doing that. <laughs> and then, like, he passes you and does it backwards. Like, hey, whoa, whoa, hang on. <laughs> he does limbo underneath something. <laughs> He's like, I fucking made it, fool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where you from? He's going backwards. Stay out of it. He's like, I'm fucking limber in that job. God, that's funny, dude. That's a sketch right there. Uh, the Fucking gangbanger gangst- on rollerblades. Gangsters man. of Venice on roller skates yeah. and skateboards and shit. <laughs> That's where one of the spots I got hit up at is Venice, right on the beach. I told the story. I've been hit up by gangsters three times. And uh, it's funny you don't remember shit like that until somebody asks you, have you ever been hit up by gangsters? And you just go like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just Venice. You know, some cra- I, I, No, I never gangbanged one second of my life. Yeah, well, we. I don't. Th- you don't look like a no, gangbanger. No, I don't look like a. But I. I used to live in Pacoima for like a long time, oh, which yeah. is hardcore gangbanger. Oh yeah, Ville. And um, yeah, I would. No one's ever asked me where I'm from. Yeah, like that's just like like all right. This yeah. guy doesn't gangbang. Usually, <laughs> I remember. You remember Jinko pants? Yeah. My mom wouldn't let me wear those because she was thinking people would think I was a gangbanger. Like, no, I don't think. And I'm so, like, mom. I think yeah, I think the Darth Maul shirt. <laughs> yeah. <kinda> like, uh, <laughs> I think the insane clown posse shirt will get yeah. them to look the other way. <laughs> yeah, baggy pants. What? <laughs> yeah, these fools are crazy. I remember my buddy was telling me he's definitely Mexican, but he was in a suit and they hit him up he's like no i'm 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 going to work man i don't i don't do that that's why i'm wearing a tie uh uh, please leave me alone it's so crazy where you from i'm (laughs) coles i work at coles i'm in the suit department fucking insanity yeah, they're like, oh, he must be up there in the gang. Yeah. <laughs> he's Dude, fucking. He's got a briefcase. <laughs> he's the fucking leader, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get them slacks, homie? You know what's funny, though? A guy with a suit, but you like a little bit of a tattoo coming out of his hand. 
coming down his yeah. leg. That's always oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah, what's, like, his, oh, what's his yeah. story? You're what's retired his, now, huh? Oh, a suit with a little neck tattoo yeah, yeah. popping out? Yeah. That's like, all uh-huh. right, this guy. Mi what, vida loca. Okay, I see. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, my sister has mi vida loca. Um, right here she got as a teenager and she regrets. <laughs> it's one of my other cousins has it on her hand, too. She regrets la vida oh, loca. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's well, a that's an easy you, tattoo you look, though. Three dots. Yeah, I could do that right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I go into a play, let's put it right there. Like, oh yeah, oh this guy's La Vida Loca. A lot of Raider tattoos. A lot of, a lot of yeah. The wild, just the dopest, shittiest gangster tattoos. You know, laugh now, cry later, but it's all bled out because it was given to him in prison with the fucking needle and ink. Yeah, I think it's funny how theater kids and gangbangers both love the drama. That is <laughs> comedy. I don't understand that, but yes, I've analyzed that too. That is hilarious. The, yeah, it's weird. The, the, Theater nerds, gangbangers, they can come together on that. The Shakespearean <laughs> just the drama. Cholos, just like, this full Shakespeare knew something, huh? <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, we're for right there, homeo, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> homeo. It's like I'm a Capulet. Homeo you know? <laughs> and Juliet. <laughs> homeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god, you know there's like a theater class out there that's like yeah. all like mexican that they did that play i don't know even... this is big girl <laughs> <laughs> what are they called the capulets and the montagues the, the capulets and the montagues i remember mm. montagues and capulets yeah john leguizamo was in that movie I never. I don't think I, Claire Danes lived with Caprio. Jamie Kennedy. I don't think I. Yeah. I think I saw that once. It was everybody's like cult class. That was like all the emo teens. Every chick's favorite movie. A lot of people. They had cool guns on it. They did have cool guns. Springfield, I was just 1911. Oh, 45s are. Forty fives are. I'm not a big gun guy, but a 45. Those are fucking those cool are looking, sexy. man. Yeah. That's what I want. But I want that Terran tactical. 2021 uh springfield 1911 combat 45 it's in the john wick gun it's that's the only reason i know it mm. uh but it's like five grand so i'm like yeah that's like way later when i got fuck you money give me yeah. the john wick gun <laughs> the john wick gun that <laughs> that's seems it. like something you would see on qvc or yeah. something. the john wick gun now if you hold it it's it's it looks heavy but it's light <laughs> did you ever get got by any of those qvc late night knife things where they sell you 300 knives for 300 dollars? never they I, got me yeah. bro <laughs> i bought like 500 knives and i sold them at the rhodium in in londale or wherever 500 knives man and then i sold two to like two homies that pulled up to show support you're like the Lord of War. <laughs> what is that Nicholas Cage movie? <laughs> I thought I was gonna sell out in one day, and people were like, "No," and I was like, "The knives." Now, was this before or after fireworks? Before selling Craig, this oh. was right after high school. I wanted to start a business, and I didn't know how. Yeah, but the road swap meets easy. If you would have sold me, like, if you would have been like, I got knives too, I would have, I wouldn't have bought the fireworks. I'd be like, oh, this guy's too crazy, man. <laughs> These are good knives. Yeah, this no, is they a firework. Cheap. That so sh- cheap. This is a firework that shoots knives. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> Do you imagine a firework <laughs> that shoots knives? <laughs> Somehow Craig did it. It's a Roman <laughs> combined <laughs> 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 I should order more knives and give every guest a knife. <laughs> That's a good gift. The, oh man, a knife is a great. My brother loves knives, man. My How brother, old's your brother, older, younger. Yeah, he's older. He was like that. Oh, that brother. That's just typical older brother yeah. with knives, man, and just. There was always knife etiquette, like you know. Whenever you gotta be safe. <laughs> whenever someone will hand you a knife, you gotta hand it a certain way, and you gotta say thank you, and then you take it. Like you gotta say thank you, so that they know. Oh, I'm releasing. I this didn't know knife about now. the thank you. You gotta say. Thank I know you. you gotta hand them the butt of the knife. Do you, you don't hand, hand them, them the dag. Butt? You don't hand <laughs> you them don't dag. Just show them. That's how I stabbed my friend that one time on accident. I was handing it to you really <laughs> fast. <laughs> Uh, yeah. The switchblades. I remember switchblades were cool. Yeah, I got one right here yeah, somewhere. Just, you push that button. And the retractable, too. That's like cool. Where's my switchblade at? I think it's right here. 
Hang on. You got a switchblade right here? Bro, come on, dog. Give me switchblade, switchblade. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. Ha. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Made in Italy. Illegal. Oh, can Fantastic. I play with yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that came out with too much. I thought it was going to. That's it my letter opener. had a lot of momentum. That's my letter opener for Look business. Damn, this podcast just went up a level. <laughs> <laughs> you guys listening out there? We got fucking fireworks. We got blades. Chris, Why? give my gun. Give my gun. No, he oh, gives it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the guns definitely come out before. No, it's it's for him. He's scared. Dude. How do you put this back? Oh yeah, I got you, bro. Oh, let me figure it out. Top right arm. Yeah, top right arm. Do push down. Oh yeah, the leather. Dude, yeah, look at the that. Rim. Dude, switchblades when you're a kid is the coolest thing ever. I had a butterfly knife, but I played with it too much and the handle broke. I got pretty decent. Butterfly knife, so cool. It's Get, a, kind of a girly name, but <laughs> <laughs> pretty my, cool. My daddy gave me this. I don't know how old I was, but I definitely wasn't old enough to be carrying one on a switchblade. Maybe middle school. Mm. <laughs> my dad left when I was a kid, but I imagine he's got knives. He yeah, seem like that kind of guy. You know. <laughs> He's got knives. Any man that leaves his sons, <laughs> yeah. he's got weapons. <laughs> Let's be real here. He does. They believe in guns and God, but not yeah. their children. No, I'm just kidding. I'm he sorry. Took off. He bounced with hey. his little. He was like a switchblade. He was, <laughs> I want to re retract myself out of this bitch. <laughs> Isn't it so fun to make fun of dark shit? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it great. That's why we got into this. We're all fucked up. You know what I noticed, too? Mm -hmm. There's the funny ones. <laughs> Stuff happened. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, it's like a, a, whatever, like a super villain story. Or yeah. Something, <laughs> something yeah. happened. There was There's always, an origin story. There is an origin story. Yeah. A crazy little growing up life, man. Which we all have, you know. Everyone's got their own little story. Okay, now we're going to get to it. We're getting to the good part. This is why I was super excited to have you on. First of all, you're funny as shit, and I fucking love you. Thanks. But second of all, we're going to dip a little bit into sobriety. Is that all right? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, because I love talking about this because I, I be preaching. Even though I still be smoking the weed, I'm going to quit this son of a bitch soon. Santa Maria is a trickster. I love her. That's my baby. Anyways, uh, I like talking about this shit because it helps motherfuckers you know it helps the, yeah. the crazy bastards so you're sober a year now i'm sober a year yeah dude. damn that's amazing that's definitely the hardest part i remember i cried like the whole year and i was like what the fuck is this yeah it's like a daily thing yeah I, i'm in that mode oh Every yeah single day do your thing you yeah know, do your sobriety thing yeah one to two years of that and then it subsides <laughs> yeah yeah and i can it's it's good man it's like you know how you hear people say like i'm a grateful alcoholic i would hear that and i'd be like what's this guy why are you grateful that you're an alcoholic but then it's like you, it, you overcome it and then you can help people who also have that same thing. yeah which I've been able to do, you know. It's a cool thing that if I would have never got it, I would have never been able to help. And I'm pretty good at, like, I don't mind, like, public speaking. So they'll bring me to, like, rehabs and stuff, and I'll, like, talk. Yeah. And that's cool. I'll, I'll do it. With, I'll try some jokes. Yeah, at. for sure, I got bro. a whole rehab thing I oh, do. I'd I be killing at rehab. Oh, bro, I can do it. I'd be killing. Yeah. They're starved for entertainment. Yeah. You go in there. You, you start setting up merch. Like, yeah, hey, yeah. I sell this shirt, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you make molestation funny. In <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, it's, a, it's just, yeah, it's a thing that um, uh, it's... It's a family thing. Like I said, I didn't know my dad, but I know that he had that uh, thing in him, that addiction. Yeah. And my mom had it. Uh, my brothers, they didn't seem to have gotten it, but I got it. Yeah. And I call it the hungry wolf. The motherfucker's yeah. never full, dude. I started late, too. I, ne I didn't drink until I was probably like... Um, like, I guess early 20s or something. Oh, that's great then. Yeah, I didn't really drink. I didn't do drugs at all. But when it hit, it hit like boom. Oh, you know? Yeah. Like it, it, it's a progressive thing, but it progressed rather fast for me. Yeah. You know? 
And I started young, but it wasn't like crazy until like the bar scene. Yeah, well, it was dude. like, and then it was well, fucking pills, powders, yeah, drugs, whatever was yeah. on the table. Mine started later, and it's weird because sometimes I'm like, man, I wish I would have just been a bad kid and gotten it, that over with <laughs> while I was yeah, like yeah. young. <laughs> but it's like whatever, it happens when it happens. No, that's awesome. And uh, one of the questions I always ask is like a bad event that led you to being better, like. You don't have to talk about it, of course, but any like what was like uh, the rock bottom that led you to sobriety, but of course, I mean there was, dude, there was a bunch, especially towards the end. It was like a slew of just, oh, just getting fired from gigs, you know. Yeah. Blacking out on stage, just not know. Uh, you know, you wake up the next morning, you're like, what happened? You know, why, oh, did, why does this worst. person not like me? Why, why is this person not like me? And then you're kind of like, oh, that guy's kind of a dick. Well, do you remember what happened last night? Uh, I'll, no. I'll, I'll say this. I've seen you out of your goddamn mind, but <laughs> yeah. you were never a dick. You were never an asshole. You were just scary because you're like, oh, shit. This, yeah. this motherfucker's plastered. But it was never malicious. Like, I never saw that. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. You're, well, like, you're like, oh, I got that. Yeah, apparently <laughs> yeah. I have. Yeah. Which oh, yeah. I'm like, Cause I'm not like that as a person, but apparently I was like a real asshole sometimes, you know. Mm. And that, like, I guess towards the end I was more of an asshole. Then it was like, you know, you start hearing things, you're like, "That's not me, man. What the fuck?" What, that's what that, is that's this, a, wait, wait. I want to touch on that. That's what made me get sober. Is like, I like you. You'd wake up and like the homie would say, "You did this, is that?" I'm like, "That's not. That's not me." Yeah, and you're, that's not, you're trying to wrap your head around it. You're like me in my core. Yeah. And it made me sick. I was like, yeah. I would never fucking do that. Yeah. And it that, they call and, it incomprehensible demoralization. Mm. You know, that's what they call it. It's just this thing of like I call like, it whoopsie daisy. <laughs> 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 my bad. Yeah. 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 A so big, sorry. My bad. And you're like, oh. <laughs> I feel sick. I repent. <laughs> I feel bad. I am yeah. so sorry. I'm a drug addict. But it's cool with 12 steps programs that you go back and you can make amends to people. Yeah. And stuff. Like there's a whole like process. I, you I know? finally You've started making that. some amends. Yeah. I pussied out, bro. I went to the program and as soon as it came time to start making amends, I ran to the hills. Yeah. But I've been revisiting that and I sent some amends out and I got to do the work still. But I do it in other capacities. I'm on my ayahuasca journey, which some people can, you know, have thoughts on, but it is a medicine and you literally purge up traumas, the unspeakable things that you may have known or not known even happen to you, you know, and you get rid of shit and life gets easier and lighter. I'm not trying to jeopardize anybody's sobriety. You know, I that's on you to decide, but I promise you this, it's a motherfucking medicine if you're doing it in the right healing circles. And uh, I forgot the whole train of thought. But, yeah, just getting rid of, uh, just growing up, basically. Just getting rid of this fucking bullshit, you know? Yeah. Just, like, what are we doing getting hammered? I get it in college, whatever. Live. I, I don't anymore, actually. I wish somebody would yell at me, like, go get life. Work hard. You're just drinking. Yeah, you know? they say the drink is like a... Uh... It's a symptom of something else, like or it's a byproduct. Like, yeah, you get drunk because something's going on, and you don't want to feel like this anymore. Like, like it's like, especially towards the end, I was like, you just hate yourself, and you're just like, how do I not feel like this? I f you're just suicidal, and you're fucking. They're like, what? What is going on with me? But you know, as soon as you drink, that'll go away for a little bit. Yeah, and then then you'll start sobering up, and you're like, I can't, I can't go back to Dustin. I gotta. I I gotta get out of dust and let me get some drinks, man. Let me get some drugs. Let me do do anything to not be in me right now. You yeah. Know? How do I check out? Yeah. How and Yeah, that's like what it always is. And like some people won't admit to it, but you're just running away from something. You are, yeah. Sometimes it, you don't even know what the fuck that is. No. It took me literally 10 trips to ayahuasca to learn some shit about me that made everything make sense. And I went, there it is, you know? And you're just like, oh, fuck. That makes sense. And then... Uh, yeah, the 12 steps really helped me do that. You yeah. Know? Cause you no, do the program a, you saves lives, It dude. does, man. And you're like, 
It's one of those things you hear about, and you're like, oh, this this works if you actually if you work it, if you do that what you're supposed to do. It's like I made fun of it. A lot of people. I made fun of it before I went there the first time. The first time I went there was court ordered and wasn't for the right reasons. It was to get signatures because I was in trouble with the law. And then the 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 second time I went was for the right reasons, and I it saved my fucking life. And I would go every day the first few months. Yeah. And it it saved me. You I know? go every day. I go every day. It's part of my like routine now. Yeah. Where it's like if I don't go, I kind of feel a little bit off. It's kind of like you got an itch and can't scratch. No, it's good. It's better than drinking coke and shit. That yeah. shit's cut with shit nowadays too. I make jokes about it, but I was like, oh, yeah. when I did coke, it was cut with baby laxatives, and you just shit your pants. Mm. And then, that, which I mean, that's that's <laughs> a regular Saturday night. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now it's cut with other stuff that takes a lot of lives. So just fucking, yeah. Just preach this sobriety shit. Yeah, I know it's fucking yeah. hard. It's and that's so why hard. I like your podcast too, because you talk about that. You know, yeah, we get, and it's like because yeah. everyone's dealing with their stuff. You know, everyone like in these in the twelve step thing. There's so many different people from different walks of life. You have people that are like, oh, why are you drinking? You've had the best life ever. You're, you're rich or some shit. But everyone has that common thing where they're like, they got substance issues. They're an alcoholic. You yeah. Know? And sometimes it's it's like there's sugar. People eat it, smoke it, sniff mm-hmm. it, fuck it. It's just what addict are you? I look out at the side yeah. and you're like, how many people are truly happy, well-rounded individuals? And it's not that many. Most people are just sick. I just see it now. Yeah. Especially after drinking that much damn consciousness of ayahuasca. You just look, <laughs> you're like, you're just like, everyone's just carrying some trauma. It may not even be theirs. They now show science shows this is where I'm gonna get sciencey. I'm gonna remember this one. Mm. Trauma stays in our DNA for uh, a shit up to nine generations. Really? And they proved this by studying lab mice. They put lavender smell and a shock to lab mice, and then they stop shocking them. The lavender smell scared mice nine generations later. It's oh, stored wow. in our shit, so it may not even be your fucking trauma it could be your mom's your dad's your great uncle your you know that shit gets passed down yeah that shit's real and now they're putting quantifiable data on that shit and uh quantifiable data yeah i know big words dog i was (laughs) struggling earlier but now i got it quantifiable quantifiable data it sounds like something they say in the avengers why sounded so dumb so many times to where i was like you're gonna get that one down you know because it's i i like I say, like I don't know what I'm talking about, but I know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I, yeah. I got the download from the TikTok. I Googled it. The shit was real. And now I'm trying to spit it out, but I spit it out in my my little ghetto stoner interpretation. <laughs> but start Googling. You'll see that finbendazinol is a dog dewormer that is also prescribed to humans, and it gets rid of worms. And if you eat sushi, you're going to have worms. And everyone's like, what? Good luck down those YouTube rabbit holes. Look up parasites. <laughs> in your dummy uh, anyways um but yeah just healing man everyone's so fucking sick and 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 healing sounds so hard but once you start doing it it is as simple as going on a long fucking walk in nature i said nature nature see i, I like said quantifiable data but nature yeah. <laughs> i love krs1 he said get your gun but it's not the gun it's not the glock it's uh god universe nature that's, oh, it. That's yeah. his metaphor. He's like, I never leave home without it. God, universe, nature. I know? love acronyms now. Yeah, God, I do. They uh, help me. Good orderly direction. Yeah. God, yeah. Dude, I need Fear that shit. Is, Everyone makes fun of yeah. this. They're going to belittle us. Hey, good luck, you pompous cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking, you'll meet, you'll get humbled by somebody <laughs> someday. We're just trying to help the fucking druggies, you know? Yeah. Because I am one. I know what I am. It's just, uh, I'll conquer this motherfucker, though. Because those things, too, man, it affects everyone around you, too. When you're in the addiction, it's like you can, it's just a thing where you can actually save lives, you know? Because people like. You the have, weight it, on it, my family? Oh, my God. Oh, dude, my yeah. God. Yeah. People worry about you. I'll, I'll run into people. Because, like, you, I didn't even know that you saw me that way. Yeah. You know, that you saw me all messed up. And people sometimes. I saw come, your eyes. I knew yeah. you weren't going to remember. People will come up to me. They're like, I'm so happy that you quit drinking. I'm like, oh, thanks, man. You know, because people, they they see it, you know? Yeah. Especially, like, my mom, she was 
just worried to death, you know? My mom she, would always text me, are you alive? Oh, I'd be like, God, yes, dude. mom. Yeah, I hate, those are like, yeah, that gets me, man, because it's like, you just, you put so much on these people that love you, and there's nothing that they can do about it whenever you're in it. It's like, there's you got nothing. it. They, That's yeah, just crazy. They, they could, yeah, it's you're like, like I'll you gotta do it hit when that I want. thing that's like I, I surrender i give up the great know? sam tripoli says you can't rob somebody of their bottom like meaning that it just they need to find their bottom on their own no one can yeah you can sprinkle little seeds of wisdom to try to pull them out but it's uh, it's always on them nobody's coming no they'll be there after when you want it but the cavalry ain't coming no one can make you put down the pookie pie but you mm -hmm. so good luck tiger Cause it's no good. Just fingered my tooth hole right there. <laughs> no, that's that real stuff. I love it though. It helps yeah. motherfuckers. Cause it's, dude, who's not hurting? This shit's crazy. There's fucking wars in the Middle East again. Yeah. I mean, again for three thousand years. Oh God, I didn't mean to bring that up, but like it's just chaos out there. Yeah. And the world just needs more love, more healing, and I just wish they would put ayahuasca in the water supply instead of fluoride. How about that? <laughs> ayahuasca. How about psilocybin mushroom instead of fluoridation? Ooh, that would have made a hell of a commute over here. <laughs> ayahuasca, <laughs> I'm at your place. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now for the final questions, because we got a little serious, and I know you got one. You got a good pooping of the pants story. You shit your drawers in an embarrassing pooping on the date, story. on the road, on an airplane. Oh, your wedding night. Pooping <laughs> my pants story. Um, yeah, that happened one time. Maybe probably a couple, but one is burned in my head. Oh I, yeah. <laughs> after church, we all went to. Uh, we went out to eat, and then we went back. I was living with my brother. Um. Cause I wasn't living, my mom was going through stuff. So I was living with my brother and I remember there's a bunch of church people over and my stomach was like really bothering me. And I went to the restroom and there was a guy in there and I was knocking. I was like, I was like, yeah. And I kept knocking. He's like, hang on. And I was like, oh, I can't, I can't hang on. And I just shit my pants <laughs> right outside the restroom. Oh. And so I go in there. And I'm trying to clean things out, but I take it off, and I, I whenever I took it off, I, <laughs> I took it off too fast, and it slung, and it, so shit was like on the ceiling, oh, on the wall, oh, shit was everywhere, and then, so I'm like, okay, I gotta clean up, I gotta hop in the shower, but then I heard a knock, and then because there's a bunch of people there, and they need to come in to use the restroom, I'm like, what do I do? So I'm trying to clean things up, but I got shit all over me. And then I, oh. <laughs> I remember I opened because I, I couldn't wait any longer. They had to use the restroom. I open the door <laughs> and I just leave and I go to my room and I hear the person say, it's everywhere. <laughs> and then Shit. it was like, it was, yeah, that was bad, man. I was just like, <laughs> the slinging of it. I, they were like, it was everywhere. You're was at like, your brother's house? Yeah, I was at my brother's house. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that was all the church people were over. They saw, <laughs> they saw my, my sinful shit. Ooh. That's bad, a good man. one. Just, Mine's fairly similar. I, I, my most famous pooping of the pants story is I ate a pepper. I ate a whole jalapeno pepper. I was a young kid. I'm, I was for money, like 12 bucks, something, yeah. not a lot of money, a <laughs> lot of, to me at that time. So I just swallowed it with water. I'm like, I could do it. And then, oh, and then, uh, I didn't sling it everywhere, but when I bent down to pull my pants down, I started spraying like water, <laughs> like, you know, explosive, yeah. you put your but then you start, over a water hose, <laughs> that, yeah. but then you start turning. Cause you know, you're like, Oh God. And then you're, <laughs> so you're just going like this and I spray painted that bathroom, bro. Oh, was, oh. It was public. And that's how I know I have a big old heart. Cause I stayed in there for about an hour or two cleaning it up. I used every <laughs> piece of paper product seat sanitizer you know the yeah, cover yeah. paper towel all of it mm. all of it and my sisters it was a vacation and they went to the pool and jacuzzi after and no one knew where i was because it's the 90s nobody watched kids and they i just i was a little kid and they make fun of me still to this day because all they heard is my sad little voices like 
because I heard them in the jacuzzi in the pool. I was like, Nicole, is that you? And I was like, can you bring me some underwear? <laughs> and everyone was like, Philip, that's my middle name. And they're, they're like, oh my God, he's in there. And then they, I came out and I had a chunk of caca on my toe. <laughs> and they all called me like caca toe and made fun of me relentlessly for oh, decades. Still, still. Caca toe. That's caca a great feet, one. Caca toe, chunk yeah. of poo chunks. This gross. <laughs> a shit is sprayed, sprayed. Like and then when you're cleaning it, you start streaking it, and oh, then it's yeah. like a never ending. Yeah, that's what. Because the kids, we don't know how to clean, so that yeah, you're taking the <laughs> shitty shit. underwear and you're watching. Just like, streaks oh, why of is shit. It getting worse? <laughs> <laughs> why is it getting worse? <laughs> Can you imagine being the janitor and like wiping the tile down, which, oh, which is somewhat clean now? Yeah. And be like, did did somebody grout this with poop? This is disgusting. <laughs> oh man, it's like whenever the uh, the first Batman when the Joker just threw yeah. everything on those yeah. paintings. <laughs> it's like how we <laughs> were. Just, bah, bah. <laughs> that's eighty song that's, play. That's why I laugh so hard at Bad Grandpa when Johnny Knoxville bends over and shits on the wall in the restaurant. <laughs> I have done. You've done that. I've done that. And I was uh, like, I did that. I did that. Yeah. His was at a restaurant, though. Yeah, <laughs> like, those are the funny ones that come out like a shotgun. <laughs> You're like, what the hell? <laughs> there was a lot. How much psi was by? I didn't know I had a twelve gauge in my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a potato gun back there? <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> He's taking out just church. a quick. <laughs> he fucking bend over. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's it, bro. I love you. Thank you for love getting you, real. Buddy. Thank you for getting real and sharing yeah, your sobriety man. story. It helps these fools out there. That like, is one thing, yeah, because you always, I was talking to my, my sponsor about it. I'm like, yeah, should I talk about this? He's like, yeah, because you can help other people because if you can do it, they can do it. That's the, exactly. Yeah. That's my whole shit. That's how I got sober. I knew a tweaker that got sober, and I went, I went, if you yeah. could, I was like, if you could do it, I yeah. could do it. And then I did it, and now people tell me that. Like, I've, I, you could do it. I could do it. Yeah. If you see tweakers put down pookies, you could do it. <laughs> you seen them. It's real hard to quit that shit, but mm -hmm. they do it. That one fool from uh, the Mighty Ducks, they showed him all tweaked out, and now he's not. Turn yeah. it around, baby. Go get yeah. nature, sun, soil. There's programs, too. You Program. don't even got to worry about money. People will get no, it covered. Yeah. A dollar. You don't even got to put a dollar. Don't no, worry. Just, just go. fucking. Yeah. Good, and good luck. <laughs> it's hard. A lot of coffee. Coffee helps. Yeah. Coffee, coffee helps. Yeah. <laughs> coffee helps. Check Dustin out. We'll provide all his links, all yeah. of his shits. I'll put my rehab promo code. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go to his rehab. Go to his facility. <laughs> Learn where to get his t-shirt. Yeah. He will provide all links. Yeah, I'm man. sorry. I was trying to be funny. <laughs> I was trying for a laugh. And I was, Anyways, much love and respect to you, my friend. Check him Thanks, out. Bro. Thank you. Peace.